It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the new features from the Filmora 14 launch and I'm also going to be making a trippy grunge effect in Filmora. And you guys might be wondering what is Filmora? Filmora is a friendly video editing software with new AI editing functions to make your videos more intelligent and efficient. And in today's video I'm going to be using the Filmora 14 version which is their latest launch and the new functions for Filmora 14 are multi-camera editing, planner tracking, AI video enhancer, AI translation, AI sound effect, smart short clips, smart BGM generation, smart scene cut, auto reframe and social video planner. And I'm going to be giving you guys a download link for Filmora which is going to be in the description. And Filmora is available on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS. So you guys can follow along in this video. And the first new function I'm going to be going over is the AI Video Enhancer. And here I made a project in Filmora and added a footage I'm going to be showing this AI Video Enhancer on. So I have my clip here and what you're going to be doing is basically selecting uh, the clip and then go to AI tools and here we get all of these functions here and here we have the AI video enhancer so you're just going to click on this one here and then press generate and now we're going to let it load for a second here and now the loading is done and you guys will see that the AI has improved the quality of your whole clip here and this method is super easy to use so this function is perfect to use as soon as you got a bad quality clip and you want to increase the quality you can just add it into Filmora, press generate and then it's basically done. So super easy and simple to use. And the next function I'm going to be showing you guys is the multi-camera editing function. Which is very useful when you have multiple footage you want to edit and cut in between. So how you use this is basically you yeah, open up a project and you import the footage you want to use so in this case i have some music videos here so let's say you guys might want to make a edit out of these music videos here you can just mark the footage you guys have like this then right click go to create multi-camera clip you guys can name this edit and then synchronization method this depends on what footage you guys have so if you guys have a video of yourself with multiple cameras you used you guys want to synchronize with the audio but in this case i want to choose the first frame because i want uh, all the music videos to start at the same time if you guys add a music to the background you guys can listen to the beat and then change in between the different music videos to basically sync it but after that you're going to press ok and this is going to pop up now i'm going to be stretching this out so we can see a little bit more i'm going to go to the beginning here and the only thing you have to do now is basically to press play. So now it's going to start here. You guys might want to change it to this music video here. You just click on it. It's going to continue. Switch to the next one. Take a new clip here. Just switch like this to what you guys want to have. And now I made some cuts here and we will see how it looks here real fast. Now you can see it's switching here. I think it's a very easy way you guys can sync your footage you guys are going to be using basically live sync it very great function to have to make fast cuts here instead of just clicking go to next you guys can just do it live instead now for the planner tracking function and this function you use for a lot of different things you can track texts and the footage you guys want to have in your videos track it to a wall track it to uh, yeah a building moving or something like that there's multiple ways to uh, make a use of this function here. I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty, pretty cool effect you guys can make for music videos, for example. So what you're going to do is click on your footage here, and then you're going to go to AI tools, then planner tracking, and you're going to check that one. So when you guys have selected the planner tracking, you guys are going to be pressing advanced. And here I'm going to be making a mosaic kind of blur effect to the, uh, yeah. Uh, person's face here so i'm going to custom make this mask here something like that and then i'm going to go frame by frame to make sure this is tracked well you guys can adjust a little bit on the way and now when you're done with your fast tracking here you guys can go to link element here and you can choose add a noise and it's going to create this 
blur effect on the artist's face here and you guys can go to the mosaic effect here and you can adjust the blur amount here so maybe you want to have 10 something like that and the opacity as well i think 10 looks good and you guys are going to be making this face blur effect here i think it looks pretty pretty cool a pretty cool effect you can use for your music videos so the next function I'm going to be going over is the AI sound effect and you're basically going to go to audio here and here you guys can see the AI sound effect here. Click on that one, you come into this sound effects library here. In my case I want to make a whoosh sound effect between the two clips here to use as a transition kind of. I'm going to be typing whoosh here, we have multiple whoosh sound effects here. But what you guys also can do is generate sound effects. So I'm going to go to settings here. The duration of the sound, I'm going to be 5 seconds good, 1 sound effect, generate. And now I've got 3 new whoosh sound effects here. I'm going to be using the first one here. So what I'm going to be doing is dragging this one down. Zoom, zoom in a little bit so you guys can sync it. I can see the peak is here it's peaking on the audio so i'm going to assume that's a good frame to have the transition point at so we're going to test it here perfect and you guys are probably gonna use some song or audio for the clips here so this isn't going to be that loud <laughs> the sound effect here but you guys can of course drag the audio down here in the audio settings if you guys select it i think drag it down a little bit maybe minus 15 decibel so you guys have a subtle whoosh sound effect here. Super clean, super easy to use and this is also in Filmora which is pretty crazy to think that <laughs> they have all of this function in one editing software and uh, yeah you can basically just <laughs> go in here, uh, look up some sound effects in the already existing library and then if you guys didn't find anything you guys can generate your own sound effects really really cool function and the next function i'm going to be showing you guys is the ai translation function which is very cool you guys can basically use ai to make subtitles and translate your video so people from different regions around the world can all understand your video and with this ai translation tool i'm basically going to try to make a cool subtitle effect you guys can use for your videos so what I'm going to be doing here is yeah, opening up a new project, I've added some footage and here when you have your clip uh, selected here you guys are going to be using the AI translation function here so basically going to click it and here you're going to be choosing the translation type so I'm going to use translate voice and caption as the default sort of language English because yeah this song is in English and after that I'm going to be uh, translating it to Japanese and there's also a lip sync function here I'm not going to be using that for this music video because there's a lot of cuts and you can't really see the uh, yeah, lips here so I'm just going to be using the auto match and then I'm going to be pressing translate and now it's going to be loading for a bit here so now when the loading is done you guys have the AI translation here you guys can see the text is here and you guys can hear the <laughs> The AI is speaking in Japanese now. I don't know in Japanese, so I hope this is right translated. <laughs> I have no clue. But uh, yeah, this looks very, very cool. I you know, think it looks a little bit edgy. This cool uh, Japanese alphabet and text here looks pretty cool to use for your uh, music videos and edits. If you guys don't want to have the voice, you guys can mute it. Great function to have in general to uh, any videos you guys want to translate to, as I said before, different audiences different people and the last function i'm going to be showing you guys is the auto reframe function which is a very very useful function nowadays when you guys obviously know tiktok youtube shorts instagram reels are very very popular you guys can basically auto reframe a edit a clip you guys want to uh, yeah, upload on those platforms just by using this function here here i have a edit i made here and what i'm going to do is basically right click here go to auto reframe so here i can choose between different aspect ratios i want to make this video into you have a lot of variations here 
but I'm going to choose the original one, 9 by 16, which is going to make it uh, the mobile screen aspect ratio, basically. And you guys can also change the motion speed if you guys want it to be fast or slow here. But when you guys are satisfied, you're going to press analyze. And this is how my edit looks now. It looks really, really good. And you basically just generated a mobile aspect ratio version in just a few clicks here. So I think it's a very, very great and useful function here now what you guys all have been waiting for i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the trippy grunge effect in filmora here so so i have my project here i have my footage ready and the first thing i'm going to be doing is basically make a adjustment layer and you're going to go to adjustment layer here drag it in make sure it covers the whole clip you're going to be using and after that you're going to go to effects here search up the effects here so i'm going to search up radial blur and i'm going to be using this radial blur here so i'm going to drag it on to the adjustment layer just like that and you guys can see the effect is applied now when you're in the adjustment layer here, we're going to go to effects you guys can see the radial blur here and i'm going to be increasing the pace increment to 100 and then the zoom rate drag it down to one and opacity keep it at 100 and the next effect i'm going to be adding is called glow color just drag it and drop it to the adjustment layer. Select the adjustment layer, go to effects. Then I'm going to drag down the feathering to 10, increase the intensity to one. And then I'm going to be playing around a little bit with the red, green, and blue blur intensity. Then increase the red one a little bit, decrease the green one, and increase the blue one. So you'll have this look here. This is the difference. Pretty, pretty clean in my opinion. After that, I'm going to be adding noise map. So you guys see noise map here, hold it and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Here I'm going to decrease the colors to zero, then the intensity to 15, 14 around there, then increase the strength a little bit to around 60. And then to create this laggy look here, I'm going to be adding low FPS, drag it on. And I'm going to be using 15 as frame rate. You guys don't need to add the low FPS effect. You guys can basically just change the settings in the adjustment layer but if you guys just want to have the low fps on a certain part in your edit or video this is much easier to yeah add as an effect instead of having to render a certain clip and stuff like that and if i use full screen this is the effect we guys have it's a pretty pretty cool uh, trippy grunge effect here that you can have all of these function in all the same place we're talking about AI translation, AI video enhancer, AI sound effect, text-to-speech, and a ton of more functions and features in this program. It's actually incredible, to be honest. As I said before, everything about Filmora is going to be linked in the description, so you guys can go and check it out. And if you guys liked this video here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Don't forget to check out Filmora, send me the result you guys have been getting by using this software here. And don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.